All right, everyone, welcome back to another podcast episode here of Whatever We Want. And yeah, we're going to get into it right away. We're going to get rolling. We're going to do a little, uh, maybe a little recap, um, kind of maybe some of the stuff we talked about last time ever so briefly, and then maybe just kind of our, our week is what we were thinking. Um, me personally, I mean, my week is pretty consistent most weeks yeah. um, as, a, as a physical therapist, you know, I mean... We're actually super slammed right now because uh, here in Iowa, people are getting treatment and doing normal things and, you know, having surgeries, especially at the end of the year. Doing normal things. Doing normal things. Um, I can't believe we have to say that. I know. It is, it is kind of silly. So if anyone's watching from California or New York or, or a different country or something, sorry. We, we don't, hate you. Yeah. We <laughs> hate you. You guys are dicks. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Well, here we are in Iowa mm. doing our thing. So we're super slammed, super busy, but... Uh, yeah, I guess that's my normal week. You know, that's busy. crazy because there's some good that, like, even I've thought about this before. The difference between owning your own business mm-hmm. and working a nine to five. Everybody's like, oh, it'd be amazing owning your own business. Or, oh, I hate nine to five. I want to do anything. Or the business owners would be like, sometimes I look at a nine to five. I'm like, hell, that don't look too bad. It's 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 crazy the differences of your week, like. Making your own schedule, being able to kind of do and, and change what you want to do when, however, you know, making payroll and doing other things like that, that's that's a topic we should get into sometime. Yeah. Well, why don't we just talk about it now? Should um, get into that. Well, I know for sure that the, that the biggest thing, because I really don't have my own like big business or anything like that, but everyone says when you do have your own business that y- you live sleep eat breathe your business i mean yeah. you don't go home and like your business is done time time yeah. to stop like exactly. it doesn't work that way whereas i kind of get that luxury ish you know what i'm saying of like yeah. when i see my last patient i'm done seeing my patients finish my paperwork and like my day is pretty much done i'm telling you man it is like that meme the, the best meme in the world of that dude who's walking out of the office and uh he throws the papers up in the air and he's like <laughs> Fuck this shit, ain't my problem. And that's so true because then he's like, my boss will pick it up. For me, if those papers are in the air, I'm like, this is my problem. I need, I need, those. <laughs> I need these papers. Like, I hey, really can you do. help me pick these papers yeah, up? I need these papers, you know? <laughs> and then it's like, even the stress of, um, and you don't have this yet, but eventually maybe, of making sure you hit payroll. You know, if there if this, if this number don't equal this number, which we've had that happen in our early <laughs> days, that means you ain't getting paid. <laughs> that means you ain't got no money. Yep. So it's uh it's definitely different, but the, the schedule. If I had to say something about owning your own business, is is my favorite part. Being able to, even though the early mornings are they're longer nights, you don't really sleep as well anymore. Um, I would rather have that chaos chaos versus like you know Jesse. On the other hand, she wants structure. She wants this. She wants to know that. And she wants nothing to do with having to deal with face-to-face conflict. She wants nothing to do with having a, the stress of payroll. She doesn't want you Facebooking her at 8.45 at night. She don't want any of that stuff. Right. So there's something to be said about really both things. Yeah, no, I, I this definitely takes a certain person for both, honestly. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, I know, I've known you for a long time. And, uh, you know, I don't think you would ever work for someone nine to five and be like get told what to do like you'll be like (laughs) i'm leaving see ya yeah uh, (laughs) peace out brother (laughs) yeah exactly well you you did work uh actually for someone for what was that a um one pay period for high v i did so little story here and my mom can attest to this bro this is this is uh so i i wanted this pair of oakley glasses they're like 275 bucks back in the day they're brand new m frames they were cut out. They had those little vents at the top. They didn't do a. They didn't do anything. You know, they were supposed to not fog up. Whatever, but they fogged up. Still fogged up. And uh, they had my they had Cart T five on the bottom, and I, and I've been. And my mom's like, you got to get a job and pay for those. Those are three hundred dollars. You know, back when I'm sixteen, that's a lot of freaking right, money. Right. And so I got a job at High V for two and a half weeks. My paycheck was two hundred eighty eight bucks, and I quit. <laughs> I, bought, I bought the Oakleys, and my mom's like, "Did you just quit your job?" And I'm like, "Yeah," because I bought, got enough money for the Oakleys, and I quit. And uh, the funny part about how I quit too was uh, they they come over and they move like the candy stand in front of your aisle, so so no one can come through. And uh, it was my time to leave. It was like five o'clock. I'm off at five o'clock, and 
the manager wouldn't move it. They kept sending people through here, and they needed cigarettes and all this bullshit. And I'm like, I'm not grabbing you anymore. I'm off, bro. Like, get, get out of your wheelchair and go get your own cigarettes. And, sorry, but it's true. And uh, this, I go out there, and I move the candy stand in front of my own lane. I'm like, nope, I'm moving it. I'm done. And I'm starting to count the money in the register and get it. He's like, I didn't move your 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 candy. I didn't move. I didn't close down your lane. You only, you know, whatever. And I'm like, nah, I'm done working. My, mine's at five. And then that that was the last time I ever worked. At, that was for it. Somebody really? Yeah, yeah. That's a. Uh, it's actually a pretty good quitting story. It's I know that funny. people people dream of a good quitting story. And if you watch The Office, they talk about that in one of the episodes of having a really good Do quitting they? story. You know, <laughs> and uh, everyone's dreaming about telling off Michael Scott or <laughs> telling off their boss or whatever else. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. That's uh, I guess I never. What about really you? You ever worked? You ever done? Uh, done a like a high school job? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. I had, I had the worst job ever. And, um, I will say thank you to my mom for helping me get this job over the summer. Yeah. I was home from school or whatever else. I think well, it was. Cause you guys don't play baseball in the summer. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yes. High school. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it was at the point where I was kind of done, you know, at that point, yeah. um, cause we're in, we were in Illinois. And so, uh, yeah, she's like, well, I know someone who you could, uh, you could work for them. They do like the cleaning services of the school. Um, during the summer so you'd basically be a janitor I'm like well I need money and like I don't really have much else to do whatever I'll just do it and it was literally the worst job ever and here's why well what, what are you cleaning everything oh, dude God. every single wall every oh, single God. floor every single table and let me tell you since that job I have never put another piece of gum underneath the table because huh. I cleaned yeah. off so much freaking gum Underneath tables, it was disgusting. How do you get it off? Like a scraper? Scraper. Thing? You scrape everything. It's literally all day of you just cleaning everything. And we got to a point, and, and the people I worked with, yeah. uh, there were like two people that were like old, and I don't know why they were there, like clearly couldn't get a job somewhere For else. Sure. And then there were a couple like younger kids that got out of jail and like, like not everybody has everybody has some demons oh yeah they got some demons some and then demons. there's then there's just me who like needed a job and so my mom hooked me up and then uh everyone had headphones in no one talked the whole time so you didn't talk to anyone all day we got to a point where we were done cleaning the schools done moving all the stuff in and out and the manager came by and was like hey we need you guys to take all the stuff in that room and move it all out into the hallway I'm like okay whatever took us 45 minutes got everything yeah. out there all the tables blah 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 comes by and we're like hey we're done what do you want to do what do you want us to do now he's like take all that stuff in that hallway put it back into the and i was like are you kidding me why do you have you do that because because we didn't have anything else to do so he was just making just up making shit, shit to, to do, do and it was like literally horrible and so i got to a point where i had about two weeks left and uh everything was done in all three of the schools that we had gone to and so i would get there early i would go into the gymnasium where yeah. they had all the chairs in the whole school stacked up on this tall ceiling probably taller than this ceiling and then like all the mats that like you jump on and like the high high yeah, bolt oh, yeah. uh, high jump mats were stacked on top of there i'd climb up there in the morning it's like 6 30 in the morning i'd go up there and i'd just snooze i'd sleep for another hour or two get on my phone for a little bit eat lunch come back down go back up there play on my phone how did he not know Dude, because you, could, you couldn't see up there. But how did he not know you weren't working? Because he, he didn't give he a shit. He didn't care. He didn't care. Yeah, so I just sat there and whatever. It was the worst job ever. So wow. um, I don't even know where this, this topic started, but I hated that job. But I think it made me a better person overall, probably, maybe yeah, a little when bit. Yeah, you're, when you're going through some shit like that, you know that, hey, this oh. isn't what I want to be doing. That's exactly like, right. Absolutely not. I do not want to be a janitor. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. You so. know, it's, it's not bad work. It's just I just don't want to do it. Exactly. Yeah, I did not like that at all. I mean, look at Colin Carney. That yeah, dude's a he's, he's a janitor. That dude's a he's professional a janitor. He's very, <laughs> very successful. successful janitor. Yeah, yeah, he actually hooked up uh, the the place that I work for, the physical therapy place I work for, um, during like all the all the stuff that happened last year, and he like got us all the cleaning supplies oh, and whatever sure. else. So he hooked us up, man. He's he's a good dude. Yeah, he always tells me he's uh he he just he cleans toilets for a living or whatever you know <laughs> makes it makes it seem so much easier than his actual job yeah. and what he's done it's hey, unreal. It's whatever you got to do to to mm. make it work. Yeah, how did we get on that? I have no idea. I don't but know. um, business man, it's a different animal. Even 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 in business when you know you're not. I mean, you we got money a lot of money into this YouTube and and more more importantly is time. Right. And there's not even really a chance to even make money on it for another year, maybe two years. 
And you still got to grind, grind, and grind, and grind. I mean, it's crazy out there that yes. people that put in a lot of time and, and um, eventually those people who continually put in time and they treat people well and they do the right things, eventually breaks come their way. You don't know when, you don't know how, but eventually those people get the breaks. I agree 1,000%. It's just yeah. the way it is. The luckier, just keep, the harder you work, the luckier you get, the luckier you get, and for some reason you're just sitting on a pile of cash or whatever you wanted to be sitting on, mm -hmm. you just found it. Yeah. It found you. Yeah, I think, uh, I think luck itself or some higher power being on your side is just simply, it just ain't a thing. It's, it's working your ass yep. off to put yourself in this potentially successful position to where if something does pop up, to where now you, you're, you're like, well, I'm there and I can just take that next step because it's, I've set myself up. Yep. You know, like luck rarely, ha I mean, you, you win the lottery or something like, yeah, that was pure luck. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For but, sure. But uh, all, Which, all other things considered. What yeah. is it, like 35% of those people end up going bankrupt and killing themselves <laughs> and shit? That is, yeah. Dude, they're, they're all messed up though. Is that, you know, why? It's because people are negging them. That they can't get rid of these. They all want money. They all want, they, they're calling. Now you got, now your friends who were actually your friends when you had no money are now not your friends because you've probably left them. Mm -hmm. And now your friends are these people who are super rich who don't want anything to do with you being a friend. You just have a bunch of money like they do. Yep. I think if I were to win like millions of dollars, I, I've thought, I thought about it a bunch of times. Like I would write out, here is the amount that I am doing, paying for this, 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 and this, and then like that's it. Like I'm not doing like those, like just spur of the moment, oh, you need $100,000, boom, here it is. Yeah. Oh, you need something, here, I'll pay. And like no, this is on a spreadsheet. This shit is not going anywhere unless I know where it's going. So I got I'll, I'll, I'll give you it. this question then. If you were to win 100 million bucks, what are you doing with it? Just, just lay, lay, lay it out quickly for us. $100 million. $100 million. First dollars. thing, I'm paying off all my debt. Okay. Probably going to pay off all of the debt if if any of like my my close circle. Okay. Yeah. And this close circle is like like mom and that family, dad and that family, and like a really small ring of friends. Yeah. And then from there, man. You got $80 million at least left over. $80 and that's, million. That's at the lowest amount possible. For sure. I mean, you know. I'm going to take probably half of it and invest it into something. Yeah. I don't know exactly what. Maybe it's a large portion into crypto probably is what it would be. And then, man, I, I don't know what I would do with another 20 or $40 million just sinking there. I mean, dude. I mean, what? A hundred million dollars sitting in the bank. Well, we talked about that today. We it's did. like what? Two point five it. million. Yep. It would make you on just interest. Right. Just sitting in the bank of the of the shit interest you get. Yep. Five to six percent interest over the years. You could you could after taxes have two point five million dollars a year in income. In income, right? Exactly. So. Well, yeah, hey, you want to you want to for sure invest that and, and have someone. Is there any you. big purchases you would make? Man, I anything don't, that you would make big purchase wise? I'm sure probably. Um, you know, I don't want a, a massive house because then you have to pay all the taxes and the property taxes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You got to have someone to clean it. I'll probably get something nice potentially yeah. of, of a big house. I don't want a boat. That ain't me. I'm not a no. big hunter, so I'm not going to buy a bunch of hunting stuff or fishing stuff or whatever. But no, I'm sure there'd probably be some some. A car or two laying around that's nicer than one would one would hope. Oh, for sure. But uh, a lot of trips, a lot of vacations that I can just say, I got the yeah. money, you're not paying, I'm paying. Yeah, exactly and it's, right. That's the feeling that I want, you know? Yeah, that that's kind of where mm -hmm. I would be. You right. got a list? I know you've thought about it before. Oh, I've definitely thought about it, no doubt. But, you know, to be honest, my my current world would not change at all. I would do, I would do exactly what you just said. My first purchases would be... Um, Obviously, this is all after tax stuff, but is friend circle that I really, really trust of friends and family, they'd have no debt. I'd wipe all their debt out, be gone. That'd be my first purchase. Bing. Second would be a massive check to a donation to some charity that I truly believe in. That would be, that would have to happen. Nice. And continually. And then it would be, um, I would probably live in the same house that I'm building right now, to be honest. Not to, I don't want to, I don't want a big house. I don't want a big payment. I want a big yard. I want, you know, I will say this though, man. January, February, March, I'd be gone. I'll I would be still you. own this gym. I would, but there's some things that I would like to upgrade that I can't upgrade right now. Um, but I would still own the gym. I would still run the gym. I would still program for the gym and, 
and probably still wear the same shitty clothes and just do, <laughs> I wouldn't change anything. The only thing I would change is getting the hell out of here for the winter. Yeah. Because I freaking hate the winter, dude. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. I hate it. But yeah. I don't know what I would change. I really I just don't. I don't know. I, I I, I don't either. That's why I'm thinking it gets a little sketchy after you spend those first initial investments of paying stuff off exactly and whatever right. else. But yeah, I, oh, I'm with you for sure. I mean, you know. I guess let's be honest. We'd probably start private jetting somewhere. <laughs> I mean, not having to wait in the airport and just walk That's on nice. your freaking uh, a plane. Yeah. Not even buy one. No. Why would you do that? It's just dumb. Just yeah. get a jet card. Yeah, get one. Jump on one and be like, well, I'm out of here. Exactly. I'll see you in a week. And I'm not know? wearing a mask on my own plane. Exactly right. <laughs> so. That would definitely be something I would do, but as far as like big purchases, I'm with you. I just don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't I, and know. I hear so many stories of people just absolutely blowing yes. that money to where I feel like I mm-hmm. would. I am smart enough, and you are smart enough, and we have smart enough people yes. that are smarter than us that we couldn't spill all that money yeah. down the drain. Well, I mean, this is on such a less schedule, but I. I, I mean, scale is my cousin. Yep. He just won a million bucks. Million dollars. You got to tell this story to to our our, uh, right. our listeners here. So real my, quick, just my briefly. my cousin Brady Carty, just a legit dude. Name has dropping. never been about money. Doesn't you know what he's not? I think my brother Chase Cameron um, have paid for more of his shit, more of his drinks, and me included than anybody at this point in time. Because <laughs> the dude, you know, he was in college. He didn't have any money. And was he so, 21? He's twenty. I think he's twenty three now. 23. But I think he wanted. I think he wanted at twenty three because he just wanted. Yeah, twenty three. And. Uh, so he had no money. He worked hard. He's like a, he's like an engineer. So he's not stupid. Um, and uh, he puts in for this uh, DraftKings uh, NCAA AA bracket. And when you get into this NCAA AA bracket, they automatically end you for a one million dollar drawing. So six months or whatever go by or however long it is, and he's getting calls from these numbers that he's not answering. He 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 put down twenty five thirty calls from this number because he's like. These telemarkers keep calling me, Dad. I'm freaking over it. But eventually, another week down the road, some dude shows up at his door, starts knocking on his door. And if he doesn't answer that, because the dude knocking was from DraftKings and said, Hey, Brady, you just won a million dollars. Couldn't believe it. Didn't believe it. Called my mom because obviously he needed to get a lawyer and get all that figured out. But yeah, the dude won a million bucks. Yeah. And he about missed it if he didn't answer the door because he d- downed so many calls. And, and cancel them or whatever you what do you can call them? you Locker? imagine if somehow it got around that you found out that you won a million dollars you thought it was fake yes and then you didn't answer that door like he maybe he was at the store that day yep. and they knocked on the door and it's gone no one was home no, next guy million next person, dollars next, next girl, person whoever. and the, the crazy thing is and, and kind of what i'm getting to at the story is that how crazy that is he took the majority of it i think my mom let him i don't know the exact numbers but like 60 grand and buy a truck and then you know, pay off his student loans and all that stuff, but almost all of it went to either taxes, which was like half of it, and then went straight into the bank. So he doesn't even touch it and really even know it's even there. But that's um, smart. You know, and here's the thing about it: no one asked him for any money. He he hasn't paid for anything outlandish. He hasn't done. There has been zero people on him. But I can see where the families, if that did happen, and they were in a different type of family or different type of friend situation, dude, they're screwed because yeah. that million dollars. Now you think you got a million dollars, you just won a million. No, you won four hundred and sixty thousand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and really, now you're spending money like you won a million, and then you have taxes and all these other things that come up. And you're like, in three and a half years, you're like, I ain't got no money. I can't pay for this. For sure. So then you're selling all your stuff away for pennies on the dollar, and you're broke again. Yep. You got to find a way to make your shit ton of money that you now have make you more money. Exactly. Right. Some type of investment or something mm-hmm. would be would be ideal, of course. Cool. Yeah, that's that's a pretty awesome story, honestly. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Car- Cartes definitely have a, uh, just the whole family itself, have a horseshoe up their ass is what my stepdad says because he's got one too. He does. Um, but, uh, <laughs> he does. That's just the way it rolls sometimes. Sometimes, man. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he did that, but he did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, we were talking about going on vacation and stuff. I think, yeah. Well, we are going on a vacation. I am so freaking ready, dude. We are doing this. So ready. Yeah. After this flight debacle? Yeah. Yeah, well, oh, you were supposed to be in Knoxville, actually, I should right be now. in Knoxville right now, so we shouldn't be filming this. No. But um, long story short, everybody knows their flights are all messed up. I booked with United back in March to go to Kip Moore in Knoxville to go see two of our friends, Nico and Kara. And everything was good. Obviously, all the flights happened. So they canceled our flights, rebooked us, and they put us getting into Knoxville at midnight on Thursday. So we were going to miss the whole concert. 
So I called them. They switched us on to Delta. United switched us to Delta and got us in like two hours early. So the Wednesday, the day before, I tried to go to check in for the flight. No email, no nothing. I called, Del- I called Delta. I'm on the phone with them for 64 minutes of just waiting. After about two hours, finally someone answers. There's no... There's no record of Jesse and Colin flying tomorrow. I'm like, what? <laughs> call United. Wait for another hour. So this, I'm two and a half hours onto this phone call, and the guy forgot to book the, to forgot to confirm it. So we we were not on a flight. The early they could get us in is midnight, and uh, we missed our trip because it was that night. Yep. And so here we are filming for you guys, of course. So if you um if you like that, Colin missed his flight. <laughs> If you know Colin, you should definitely like this uh, like this podcast. I think we're we got to try to get sure. this this podcast onto Spotify or whatever yeah. else. If 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 someone knows that's listening to this, out of the like hundred people or that iTunes probably are listening to this, yeah, iTunes or Spotify or whatever, um, you gotta you gotta let us know. Comment down below would be great actually on how we go about doing that. And topic ideas too. Topic ideas yeah. is, would be fantastic for, for as well. This. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, those comments are much needed at this point because we uh, we do need some help. I, I have no problem asking for help. Agreed. And we'll figure out how to use the other mic. But honestly, though, we thought about doing this literally on a Thursday, which was last Thursday. Joe went out and bought another mic, and we filmed the first episode on that Saturday afternoon. Right. So it wasn't like we were thinking about doing this podcast forever. It was just like, boom, here we go. Yep. Yeah, this is one of the ones that we just said, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's wing it. Um, so you're, you're Key West. What oh, we, yeah. What we, what, yeah. Vacations. So, um, What's up? so I was just, just thinking out loud of, we have, we have made this a tradition, a pretty solid tradition now, I six think year. at this point. Yeah. Six years. Six years of, um, basically going on these, these guys trips or fun trips that yeah. we take as just a bunch of buddies of us somewhere freaking warm, somewhere, somewhere nice, warm. somewhere to kick us off through hopefully this brutal winter that yes. we usually have here in Iowa. And not every year. It kind of seems to be every other this year at this right. point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's for a different freaking subject. But yeah, story, hopefully yeah. it's not negative 50 again this year like it was a couple years ago. Jesus. Um, yeah, we literally got off the plane from Hawaii after a honeymoon. It was 85 and sunny there. We got on the plane, came back. That next day, it was negative 50 degrees. Oh, my God. Horrible. Horrible. That's a 130-degree swing. My body was like, uh, uh, what do I do? What do I do? So, yeah. um, Guaranteed to get sick. But, yeah, we will have another podcast uh, coming. Next Saturday. From Key West. From Key West. From Key West next Saturday. Mm -hmm. Our, our, Our rental is Badass. Yeah, the house we cool. got is maybe we'll do a little tour. We should do a vlog tour added into our our uh, video or something. Yeah. yeah, and then we're gonna do a donut review too, right? Yes, donut we review. We gotta review the donuts. Yeah, that's that's one of our favorite things to do. Actually, we've been doing it for years. We just need to actually um, film it, film it, and right? bring the film. That's one thing we still suck ass at. Terrible is bringing the camera and filming it and then talking into it when we know we need to do it but we don't do it. Yeah, I we. Just, I just wish we like we were like more about getting attention. I if know. If we could be like better at getting attention, we would be much more successful YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> like just, just they do well, you know, like these TikTokers dancing and doing their thing. I it's know. Just like, Damn, I know. Man. I just. I don't want to say that I care about what people think about me because I really don't. I could give yeah. two shits, but at the same time, I don't want to be in the middle of a store, yes. freaking dancing and shaking my butt, and you know, like I just don't do that yeah, it's that's not even the point of where <laughs> someone even that. thinks about you like what i just don't want to be there being like interrupting you know grandma jean over here grabbing <laughs> some salsa and you got fucking joe in the background humping his freaking phone you know and yeah. i'm like dude it just doesn't it just doesn't do it for me i know i'm, I'm with you i'm you know? with you 100 percent on that one i don't know who knows yeah so that that is going to be exciting we leave thursday you leave what you leave monday i leave monday yeah and Another another Cartism here. Why are you leaving on Monday? What are well, you doing down there? Well, 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 well. <laughs> you know these little things called uh, scuba diving. We had to get that certi- certified last February, and uh, me and my buddy Tanner were like, uh, we already Tanner. paid six hundred bucks to get scuba certified in Iowa, but now you got to do at least two days of four and a half hours of open water scuba diving with an instructor. So we're gonna go two days early and we're going to go like six hours a day and get certified in Key West. Yeah. We only have one month left to do it. So yeah, we're going to, I'm going to go get scoop certified. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. That's a cool skill. I get real nervous when I like blow out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that. 
you that know, scares if, me if, a little if bit. If you don't do it early and often, like they're like, just do it early. Like if you if you basically plunge down and you're swimming down and you don't do it right away, your ears are gonna. I mean, it's done. You're done. You have to go back up. Yeah. It, I will say, scuba diving scares me too. I'm gonna have more because I'll be done with it when we That's do right. our next podcast. I'll have more to say about it. But for right now, it just scares me being out in the middle. The ocean doesn't scare me. The water doesn't scare me. But you're you are helpless as hell down there. Something goes wrong, like, yeah, bub bop. Yep, you know what sure. I'm saying. Yeah, and and you are like the slowest moving creature that's for in the sure. water. Like everything else is faster than you. Yeah, and besides just, my buddy Tanner. Tanner will be <laughs> slower. As long as he's still there, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to be the fastest. You got to be faster than one of them. <laughs> that's right. You'll be faster than Tanner for no, sure. No yeah, doubt, you're in no Iron Man training, yeah. so there you go. We'll be fine with that. But yeah, that'll be fun. I'm excited for Key West. Oh, if you guys have, this will be out before Key West. So if you have suggestions of Key West, we would love them. We we need to know where to eat. We need to know coffee shops. Or my brother says Cuban coffee. Something's really good. I don't know. Um, Gary sent me some places to eat. Uh, where are some good places to run? If you've been in Key West, throw it down in the comments. We really yeah. do want to know. If you're watching this and you have been to Key West and you can't comment, well, then you probably have a shitty time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I've only heard good things about it, but yeah, we want to know those things. We want to know the restaurants and the yep. the bars and the places to go, and um, All yeah, stuff. it's going to be a good time for sure. I think so too. Yeah. Well, you got anything else? That is whatever we want, and clearly we talked about whatever we wanted. There was a, a range or a plethora of different. Uh, <laughs> we had a uh, we had an overarching topic today <laughs> that we're, we we text each other about. We're like, hey, this is going to be a great topic. We didn't talk about it once. No, we didn't talk about it once. We'll, we didn't even hit it. No, we, we won't tell you what it, what it was, what it was what but we didn't, we didn't even say that word. We not, didn't even, nope. Not once. Nothing even got close to that topic whatsoever. <laughs> You're Nothing. right. <laughs> not even close. So um, that's all right. We'll save that one for a rainy hey, day, do I you guess. Hey, do you want to at least say your crypto? So yes. We know yeah, exactly. New um, video? Yeah, perfect. So uh, I will be running a crypto corner. So we have a corner in the office next to where we uh, typically do our our uh, normal CLMs and things like that. And so your boy, Joe P, is going to be informing you guys more about crypto, what the heck crypto is, what Bitcoin is what ethereum is how they work how they interwork um the hot topics of all the altcoins and the um you know the prices and things yep. like that the ups and downs of of the uh of the market right now and so, it's basically going to be your journey right because you're not a financial advisor but it's sure. your journey you are researching these coins you've been doing way more research than i ever ever did during crypto yeah yeah. I just listened to Tanner. I love it. No, I, I love every bit of it. Honestly, it's super fascinating to me. So I'm going to be uh, rolling with that. I mean, you've yeah. already given me a couple coins that I've never even heard of, and I've been in crypto eight months longer, and yeah. I have zero idea what these are. Yeah. So that's going to be something that I'm going to have to pay attention to as well. But the crypto markets, even the bear market, dude, dude, you're going you're gonna to do well. It's going to be good stuff. The mm -hmm. crypto corner. Crypto Corner coming to you soon, maybe even today or tomorrow. I'm not sure of exactly when I'm going to shoot that, but um, it will be coming out. Every week, yeah, every week for sure. So, um, yeah, that'll be it then for podcast for today, number two of whatever we want, of course. So, like we talked about earlier, make sure that you like uh, the videos. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel because there's lots of good stuff coming out with the podcast. And check out for our uh, Key West one coming soon. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.